Designed babies and of incurable diseases and people who never age. What would you think if I told you that with today's technology, all these strange things that we considered science fiction are now possible? Hi, I'm Ayla Dilgerolu. I'm a 10th grade student at Ted Bodrum College. And today I will be talking about the evolution of genome editing in the future. As you all know, from the smallest single-celled organism to the largest creature on Earth, every living thing is defined by its DNA. It is the basic unit of hereditary and is made up of a sequence of genes. Genes are segments of your DNA which give you your physical characteristics and make each one of you unique. This system in our body has led to the bird of the field genetic engineering. Gene editing, which is the main focus of genetic engineering, has made significant progress in understanding and manipulation of genetics. Before talking about how these gene editing technologies will affect our future, I want to talk about one of the most influential technologies out there, CRISPR-Cas9. Emmanuel Charpentier and Jennifer Dodna were rewarded by the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2020. The CRISPR-Cas9 is an amazing technology because it allows scientists to precisely edit the DNA in living organisms. This method of gene editing was first a basic re research project on discovering how bacteria fight viral infections. Basically, bacteria have an adaptive immune system called CRISPR that allows them to detect and destroy the DNA of the virus. Cas9, a protein that is part of this immune system, acts just like a scissor and cuts the DNA. These two incredible scientists realized that they could harness the activity of this protein into a genetic engineering technology. To explain this system, Cas9 works with guide RNA, which combines uh, with the target DNA. Later, uh, these two molecules detect where the target DNA is, and the double helix DNA is unzipped, and then the guide, the guide RNA is added. After that, Cas9 cuts the DNA, and at this point, genes can be changed, removed, or replaced easily. This huge invention has opened a new door in the history of gene editing. In 2019, a Chinese scientist called He Zhang Ku announced to the world that he successfully used the gene editing tool CRISPR to edit two embryos before birth, essentially creating the world's first genetically modified babies. Meet Lulu and Nana. Although it seemed like a unique work, his actions were widely criticized because of safety concerns related to the process and its possible effects in the future. As a result, the Chinese scientist was imprisoned for three years. Another important invention, which was made by using the CRISPR technology, is molecular recording. For the first time, a primitive movie has been encoded and then played back from the DNA in living cells. The researchers converted five frames from a racehorse in motion photo sequence into DNA. They treated bacteria with a translated DNA frame in stages over a five-day period. They were able to reconstruct the movie with 90% accuracy after, um, after um, the DNA. And although this technology could be used in a variety of applications, researchers intend to use it on the brain. After talking about all those improvements in the past, let's look at the possible effects of genome editing in the future. Simple diseases will be cured, like type 1 diabetes, which the mutation occurs in a small section of the genes. Later, with the development of technology, scientists will start to cure major diseases which have significant consequences and even death. Uh, in, moreover, the example of the Chinese scientist makes me question if genome editing is actually eth ethical. Editing the genes of a sperm cell, egg, or embryo is called germline gene editing. With this, the changes will pass on to the affected person's offspring and so on. 
most importantly, the future generations can't consent on having their genes altered. Also, what happens if this technology is not only used for curing diseases? In the future, there's a huge possibility that parents will be able to choose the physical features of their babies. However, it will be only possible for the ones who can afford it. And this will, be then this will lead to social divisions. Um, however, genetic engineering is not a cheap area. Also, the economic status of people will determine whether they will have access to uh, huge advantages in health. Eventually, the gap between the poor and rich will widen and a new type of health inequality will occur. In conclusion, with CRISPR-Cas9, a new era in genetics has started. It will have a lot of consequences in different areas, but do we really know enough about the human genome to understand the impact of making changes to it in a developing embryo? Are we aware that any mistake that is made now will affect the future generations to come? Yes, it promises eliminating or reducing uh, many diseases. However, it may also shrink the human gene pool, cause socioeconomic dis divisions, and have serious consequences for the future. After all this information I gave, I want to ask you a question. Do you think the power that gene editing has on humanity's future is a reward or risk? Well, there is only one thing we know for sure. Gene editing will change the future of humanity forever. Thank you.